Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a mock showcase video slash a set modification video. And I'm going to show you this cool Lego shopping center that I built for my Lego city almost a year ago now. This shopping center is actually just a repurposed Olivia's house from the Lego Friends line. I took that copy of the set I had and completely changed it up and repurposed it and, you know, changed parts, did some modifications, and I turned it into this shopping mall. As you can see, there are two stores in the mall the mini doll clothing store as well as the olive brick Italian restaurant and above that there are actually two apartments and as I said in this video I'm just going to showcase this mock and show you all the different details I put into it. The first part I'm going to show you here is the mini doll clothing. As you can see just by looking at the building it is a, like a Lego friends clothing store it uses you know pink color schemes and things like that. On the sidewalk here, as you can see, there's the regular tan tiles I use in all my city, as well as the pink tile, just to kind of let you know that you're now entering the mini doll clothing territory. I use some pink bricks to make this look like pink paint, as well as the doors with pink knobs. Also, I have these little mannequins sitting in the window, so people walking by can just kind of see what the newest outfits are and things like that. There's a little awning over the store, so people don't get wet when they're trying to get in and stuff like that. And as you can see, I have the mini doll clothing sign on these pink bricks. So here's what mini doll clothing looks like on the inside. It continues the pink and purple color scheme that you kind of saw on the outside. Up above here, we have this, you know, friends pattern sign from the Emma's Fashion Studio or something like that. There's a dress and a couple things like that. We have the owner of the store standing in this middle on this platform here. It allows her to have like her clients standing up there so she doesn't have to like get right on her knees if she has to bid them and stuff like that. And it's kind of like a platform, I guess. I don't know, my sister told me about it. Lining the whole store are some different Lego Friends outfits. Most of them don't have arms, but as you can see, a couple of them do have arms. I'm not sure why I didn't take them off. Maybe they were just too difficult to. Other than that, it kind of has like the full outfits and it looks like they're mannequins, you know, trying on the clothes. Also at the very back of the store here, we have this little uh, drawer set for her to keep all her sewing measurement, utensils, money, things like that that you'd find in a clothing store. Alright, so over here is the olive brick Italian restaurant. As you can see on the sidewalk here, it is the lime pattern. There is also lime for the doorknobs and on each side of the doorknob we have these two like shrubs or their plants that are you know fancy for an Italian restaurant. Up here we have the sign, the olive brick, the best Italian Lego food and then we have a couple other greenery things just letting you know it's like Italian, it's fancy, it's lots of plants and things like that. Over here in the olive garden as you can see it continues from the outside with the lime green pattern. From the ceiling here you can see all the different shrubs and plants and things like that hanging from the ceiling just to give it the more of the olive garden look. The lime surrounds the entire area of the restaurant with tan in the center. There's three different tables to sit at, one for a family of four and two for like families of two or couples. One table here has some pizza on it, another has like an appetizer and some drinks and the other just has some drinks. Above that is also this little wine rack where it kind of holds all the different utensils and cups that you'd need in a restaurant. Now unfortunately there's no kitchen in this restaurant, I wish there could have been, but mainly it's just the seating area. I'd love to be able to make a Lego restaurant someday that's big enough for, you know, the kitchen and all the other parts a restaurant would have. But unfortunately this one is just too small so it only has the seats. So it's kind of like the Olive Garden restaurant, but no restaurant, just like the seats. So maybe like a takeout place or something like that. Above these two restaurants, as you can see, are the apartments. So there's two different apartments and they look identical on each side. They both have like little red awnings, flowers on the windows, gold and white. Pretty much the exact same. The only thing different about them is how they look on the inside. Alright, so now you're looking at the apartments. As you can pretty much see, they're both pretty identical on each side. The only difference is their color scheme. My design here was to look similar to like hotels where the rooms next to each other are flipped. And that's what I've done here. The only thing I don't like about these rooms is that you can, can see the roof area there. And I didn't have the right color plates at the time to do this, so it looks really ugly. Alright, so the main centerpiece of each bedroom is of course the bed. This one here is like a blue and a white with, you know, some pink accents of a bed. Beside that, there's a nightstand with a cup as well as a light for some reading. Next to that's a small kitchenette unit where there's a fork and a knife and a dish and a bowl and like a frying pan, a little stovetop area, a stove underneath, 
and then a very small counter place. And of course, next to that's a little seating area, continuing on with the pink and the purple color scheme. And lighting up pretty much the whole room is this one big hanging lamp. The green apartment is the exact same, except instead of pink, it is green. So as you can see here, I also forgot to mention this, the pink, there is this fridge that does open up, but I don't have anything else to do it. We have the little kitchenette unit here with the stove and a bunch of different frying pans and kitchen utensils and things like that, completely opposite from the pink color. We have the small seating area with the green table and the red chairs as well. And next to that is the blue and green and white bed. There's also a yellow cup instead of a red cup on the nightstand, and of course a lamp. The last part of the mock I'm going to mention is the roof area. As you can see, I completely took the pink roof out because that was a no-go, and I added this red roof. I think it looks really nice with the red roof. As on the slope there, I used some red plates and some red tiles, and on the very top, I used all red tiles and used some chimneys with more red tiles on top, and I really think that looks pretty cool. Thanks everybody so much for watching this LEGO mock video, I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you think of the mock, and if you want to see more mock videos in the future. Thanks everybody so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed, as well as the subscribe button.